friends. It is 11 11 2019. Happy Veterans Day, 9 28 a.m. I want to talk about a few things, and I hope you guys all had a good past week. Uh, we had two, well, we had one, and we are currently going through a second celestial event that is pretty significant. One is a meteor or fireball sighting that was um, reported last night, as you can see here, over 33 reports all over the northeast of the U.S., all the way down to North Carolina in some cases. And why I find this interesting is because a lot of these people that report on American Meteor Society are like veterans of what they do, and they, they report and leave details. And some of these are very interesting, as you could read here. In my lifetime, this is the brightest, closest, and most colorful I've ever witnessed. That is one report coming out of North Carolina. Another one out of North Carolina, um, I believe they said from up right to down left. That basically is the direction you're seeing here. It was from a north to a west direction going across the country this way. And you could see it was mostly seen in the areas of the northeast, in, including Pennsylvania. Um, I did not know about this until I woke up today, but some of these reports are, are fairly interesting. A lot of people claiming this was the biggest and brightest shooting star or fireball they've ever seen in their lives. Um, when you see that, uh, you find it pretty interesting, and you kind of go looking for other people that have uh, mentioned the same thing. This person says, I looked away from the sky for a few moments, and I looked back. It was there just above the horizon. If uh, it was three seconds later, I would have missed it since I was looking away for only a few seconds. It seems like it came out of nowhere. So this was a pretty random event, but uh, when you get 33 people all talking about the same event, it's definitely worth talking about. And the last time we had one of these events in the Northeast, as you can see here, this was back in July. This one actually came from the south to the west up in towards the Canada region. As you can see here, uh, some of these reports are actually in Canada, near Ottawa, Montreal, Quebec City, but mostly all condensed here in the Northeast. So um, we're waiting for some visuals. This was back in July. Again, this was the last time we had an event of this size. These are all the videos and uh, doorbell cams and uh, webcams and stuff like that, weather cams that caught this event. So we're waiting to see when we will get those reports for this event here. You can see all these times are fairly close together. Uh, 1940 Eastern Standard Time, that's military time. 1938, 1940, 1939, 1935. As you can see, this thing shot right across uh, from the north to the west, almost south in the southwest direction. You can see the arrow here. Um, very interesting. I want to look into this a little more. Uh, secondly, we have another celestial event currently going on right now, which is going to end in the next few hours. For all the space buffs out there, we all know that Mercury is passing in front of the sun between the Earth and sun. This happens about every 12 to 13 years. Uh, they say this will not happen again until 2032. Um, it is currently going on as we speak. So there are videos online right now where you can watch this happening live. Here is the picture I used for the thumbnail. As you can see, Mercury passing in front of the sun. This was an older uh, passing, but uh, you can see right here, this is the expected path. And um, you can see this with your, the naked eye. If you use the uh, right kind of glasses, I'm not recommending you go stare at the sun right now um, in any way, shape, or form. But this is visible to the naked eye if you have the right uh, solar glasses, like those ones you use for uh, solar eclipses and things of that nature. Uh, very cool to see this happening, uh, being that it happens every, every decade or so, probably a little bit more, uh, probably about 12 to 13 times every 100 years. So uh, definitely something you'd want to go check out if you're into astronomy and things like that. Also, a little bit off topic here, but another anomaly I caught with the particle viewer here on um, weather.cod.edu. Uh, last night, starting around 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, we're looking at Utah right now. And you're going to see down in this area, once dark comes, basically midnight um, in Eastern Standard Time, um, it looks like it's around midnight. We're talking midnight UTC time. I'm sorry about that. So we're going from the 10th into the 11th in UTC time, right at that line right there. You can see right here is the number 11 for the 11th day, and then we back up, and then it's a 10th day. You can see this anomaly. That was a refresh. You see an anomaly pop up in the oh, basically central area of Utah. I kind of pinpointed this spot to an area near a mountain range in Utah, as we can see right around here um, is where we're looking by Highway 153. Now, we don't know exactly what this is. There was no reported fires or anything of that nature. If you guys remember, we used this chart to pinpoint a fire to the west of L.A. 
uh, last week, which was uh, pretty devastating. It happened fairly quickly. But as I move this forward, you can see as night passes, we have a clear anomaly right here that does not move, which means there is something there on the ground 100%. There's no doubt about it. And what I did was I, I looked up the active fires in Utah. Now, this goes back in time, and you can see this RX label here. RX means prescribed fire, which means they had a planned fire for that area. And the most recent one that they have on this chart is uh, November 3rd, which was about a week ago, uh, about eight days ago, actually. So there's no report of anything new going on in this area. We have one for October 1st, 2019, which came and went. Another fire for the second day of October, which came and went. And uh, these are pretty significant um, amounts of area that they're covering and burning here. 348 acres. Uh, one of these was actually a lightning strike cause, but this is the exact area in which we see uh, this anomaly take place. You'll be able to see it up in here. This is Nevada here. Here is Utah. A little bit of a closer view for us to look at. But you can clearly see that that anomaly is there well past dark for about 10 hours this thing sits here. Um, so I can't think of anything else but a fire that that could be or some sort of thermal event. Um, even though we are dealing with super cold temperatures in the U.S., which I will also get into later on today as we are going to be talking about one of our first winter storms, which is already kind of taking place. Big lake effect snow situation going on and then moving into the northeast, covering about seven or eight states uh, right now in winter storm warning. So we will check that out. Very, very cold temperatures going on in the upper central part of the country. That will be swinging right across the Great Lakes and then into the northeast as that snow begins. Um, it actually already has begun in parts of Canada and um, upstate New York, Vermont, New Hampshire, Maine, you name it. Those areas by the border of Canada right now are definitely getting snow. We could be seeing up to six inches of snow in parts of uh, Chicago and everything just underneath the Great Lakes here, which we'll talk about later. And briefly, coming back to this fireball slash meteor event, um, they will have uh, visuals for this, I'm sure. Usually when they have an event of this size, this is 33 um, consecutive people reporting the same event. You can see all these times are very, very similar, if not the exact same. And we're talking these things go from uh, basically New York being the, the farthest state to the north all the way down to North Carolina um, in which this event was seen. And like I said, some of these numbers here, uh, the, the lower the magnitude um, here, the uh, bigger the event, and a lot of people are reporting the color green, uh, which is uh, very, you know, common with meteors and stuff like that, but this was a fairly big sighting, and you can see, again, the trajectory that we're looking at here. I'll zoom in a little bit, and you can see this is the direction in which, based off the reports, they are saying this thing went, so it actually came down and went across the United States in a north to a southwest direction. Um, so I'm going to be looking into this to see how big this event really was. And um, in, in fact, there is another event going on right now if this is not part of the same event, which would lead me to believe that this was a meteor. Um, no signs of a meteorite, which would be something that hits the ground. Um, meteors are ones that burn up in the sky before they touch the ground. If they do touch the ground, they become meteorites. Uh, but we have something going on in Florida right now. We have a bunch of pending reports all over Florida, uh, parts of California even, and then we move into uh, other countries here. But this is certainly an event right here as these were all very consecutive. Three um, Eastern Standard Time, 306, 309, 310, 311, 315, 318, and then 330, all in the state of Florida, all within the last couple hours. So that is very interesting to see. And once again, here's that view of that, that little anomaly going on in Utah right now. If anyone has any information about this or lives in Utah that might be able to confirm what this might be, um, it, it looks to me like a fire. It crawls just like a fire. It lasts about 10 hours. Um, I'm not sure if that is exactly how long they do controlled burns for, but um, again, this is the chart for any controlled burns. The RX symbol, which I find uh, pretty funny, is a prescribed fire, just like a prescription in RX. So um, you can see here in the northern part of uh, Utah, they had a prescribed fire on October 6th. So this is fairly common to see, but they don't have this one listed. And usually they have these listed before they do them. Uh, so we will look into that as well. So uh, I just wanted to say hi to everybody, and we'll be back with more information on this uh, 
possible winter storm we could be dealing with, which we are kind of already dealing with. Um, nothing super significant as far as feet of snow, but certainly something that's going to uh, raise the eyebrows of everyone waiting for winter. And then again, Mercury is passing between the Earth and the Sun as we speak. So those of you that have any solar glasses or those uh, welding helmets, you can go take a look at the Sun. You may be able to see Mercury passing in front of the Sun if it is not cloudy in your area. All right, guys, I hope you guys have a great morning. I will talk to you all very soon. Bye-bye.